Welcome, everybody, to the Character Chronicles, the people show, and it's Workout Wednesday, and every week I get so excited for Workout Wednesday. I come straight from the gym. It's the third week in a row I haven't even showered, so I'm sure everybody in the studio right now is enjoying my wonderful aroma. I'm sure I, I'm sure I smell like a uh, fresh pancakes in the morning, a valley full of daisies, if you will. How's my hair? Let's light this candle, shall we? So here are the three most common questions that I get asked about nutrition from most people that I know. Number one, protein. How much protein should I take on a daily basis, whether I'm a competitive athlete or whether I'm just trying to live a healthy life? Lifestyle. Now, if you're a competitive athlete, for example, when I was 300 pounds, I was told anywhere from 75% of your body weight to one gram of protein per pound of body weight that you weighed. So I always took one gram of protein per pound of body weight would be 300 grams of protein a day, whether it be a protein shake, chicken breast, Greek yogurt, whatever the case may be. Or the minimum for me as a competitive athlete at the time was 225, 75% of my weight. So 225 to 300 a day was what I took because I weighed approximately 300 pounds at the time. Now, you're just trying to live a healthy lifestyle, it's a little bit different. You don't need as much of protein. You can literally go 50% to 75% of your body weight. So as a 300 pound athlete, if I wasn't participating in sports, I could have taken 150 grams of protein a day up to 225 and been just a fine. Now, you don't want to take too much protein, uh, just a heads up, because there are some negative ramifications if you do. And just a heads up, there's six things that I came across. Number one, weight gain. Don't really want to gain excess weight. Most people I know don't anyways. Number two, increase body fat. Kind of the same thing. It's one of those things where if you stay within the parameters I've given you, you're going to be perfectly fine. If you go over, there's really no uh, positive side effects from it. There's just some negative ones that come out of it. Some other long-term health effects, possible uh, heart issues, possible kidney issues, things of that nature. Just stay within the parameters I've given you and you'll be perfectly fine. Here's a couple other things that are just kind of unpleasant. Bad breath. Nobody wants that, right? And too much nitrogen can build up with too much protein, so your body ends up trying to flush it out, so you end up drinking a lot of water because you're constantly thirsty, and you end up living in the bathroom. Nobody wants that, right? And one last note about the protein. You want to take the same amount of protein on your off days as you do your workout days. You don't get the largest arms on the D-line while you're doing the curls. You get them on the next two days that you take off when your body's building itself back up. The second most frequently asked question I get is, how much water should I drink every day? How do I know if I'm hydrated? or not. Real easy and simple rule. Again, when I was 300 pounds, I was always told drink half your body weight in ounces of water. So I tried to drink 150 ounces of water a day. Now, it does vary on your activity level, though. For example, I, uh, my senior in Nebraska, I weighed about 290, and we did two a days. And it was hot, it was humid, so we'd always weigh in before and after every practice. And there was a practice I weighed 290. And afterwards, after a two-hour practice, I lost 12 pounds. I was 278. So the rule was for every pound of body weight that you lost, you had to drink a Gatorade. So I had to drink 12 Gatorade. Let me tell you, I was living in the bathroom. My point is, start with the baseline of half your body weight in ounces of water. So for me, at a 300 pound athlete at the time, it was 150 ounces. And then adjust it based on your particular activity level. And one last thing, if you want to check how you're hydrated, it's maybe a little off color, but look at your color of your urine. If you're clear, you're good to go. If you're brown, drink now. Basically, the more clear you are, the more hydrated, the more yellow to brown, drink now. The more yellow or brown you are, the less hydrated you are. Easy way to tell if you are hydrated or not. The last question I get asked the most frequently, what's the one thing I can do to increase my performance as an athlete or just how I feel good or how to feel good and look good for my everyday healthy lifestyle? Eat more greens. It's very simple. Most people eat three to four meals a day on average. Most competitive athletes, four to six meals a day. You want to try to get three to five servings of greens a day. Now, if you're worried, hey, that's an awful lot, Adam. Number one, look on the back of these containers. A lot of times a serving isn't as much as you think. A lot of times you can get two servings in one meal. Now, to keep it real simple, no matter what you're doing, if you average three servings of greens a day, you should be good to go. Now, the Character Chronicles, the show itself, all the video issues have been resolved. You can watch it, no problem. Go to omaha.com slash character. Click on the video at the top. It's the easiest way to avoid any issues, and it will work. I've been told. Do me a favor. Pass the word around to all your friends, because some people have had some issues. Those have been cleared up. Help me get the word out so the people can enjoy this wonderful show. Tune in tomorrow for Prediction Thursday. One of my wonderful children will be on, and they always steal the show, and I'm nothing more than the sidekick. That has been your workout tip of the week. You're welcome.